In this video, we are going to take a look at some pursuit footage following an incident that happened on the A1 near Brampton. We are trying to understand why the footage is so grainy considering most police forces have decent dash cams, but the footage is clear enough to see what is happening. At around 1600 hours on the 20th of May, Rhodes Policing Unit officers from Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Hertfordshire RPU were on the A1 near Brampton looking for a car reported as being involved in shoplifting. Many of you are probably thinking, shoplifting, so what? But this was no ordinary shoplifter. 28-year-old Florin Christia had nearly £1,000 worth of stolen goods in the back of his car. It also turned out that, surprise, surprise, Christia was disqualified from driving and had no insurance. If you're a subscriber or if you watch our videos on a regular basis, you'll know that pretty much 99.9% .9 of the pursuits that we cover involve drivers who are already disqualified from driving. The officers got behind the black Vauxhall Mariva and signaled for him to stop, but Christia accelerated, reaching 100 miles per hour between junctions 15 for Saltry and 16 for Yaxley, and 105 miles an hour as he approached junction 17 for Peterborough. Christia continued to drive north on the A1, entering a 40 miles per hour average speed limit section at 80 miles per hour and undertaking other road users. If you happen to work for the RPU unit involved in this pursuit, then please let us know why the footage is so grainy. All of our team here at ESN are former emergency services personnel and we know that your kit is better than this. But anyway, if you can forgive the grainy footage, check out the rest of the pursuit and we'll tell you at the end what happened. The pursuit ended when Christia suddenly braked hard and swerved into a lay-by near Tickencott, north of Stamford, just as officers were beginning to use tactics to bring the pursuit to a safe conclusion. Christia admitted to being a disqualified driver and having no insurance, with a further inspection of his car finding nearly £600 worth of items stolen from home bargains in Camborne earlier in the day. Further inquiries also found that Christia had gone into Audi in Chatteris on the 1st of April at about 1400 hours, filled a trolley with washing detergent, toothpaste and coffee worth just under £900 and left without paying. On Monday the 19th of June at Peterborough Crown Court, Christia of Northfield Road in Peterborough was jailed for one year and four months, having pleaded guilty to two counts of theft driving whilst disqualified, driving with no insurance, and of course, dangerous driving. What do you think of the sentence? Let us know in the comments below, and remember any comments which are left with a super thanks are always guaranteed a response from a member of our team. The option for a super thanks is in the comments. PC Steve Robinson, the investigating officer said, if Christia had actually stopped when asked, he could have avoided a dangerous driving charge. Instead, he chose to put innocent drivers at risk before he was arrested and brought to justice. Don't forget we have an entire playlist dedicated to documenting some of the police pursuits that happen around the country every single day. To check out the playlist, click on the link in the video description. A big thank you to our channel members for supporting our YouTube channel. If you'd like to join them by becoming a member of our channel, then click on the link pinned in the comments. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a like. We've also got a free newsletter and it's the only way to ensure that you never miss any of our videos or stories. Anybody can sign up for it. You don't have to be serving in the emergency services and you'll find the link for that in front of you now. Until next time, stay safe.